So my name is uh, Ago Pino from Direct Poultry Premium Foods. We deal with a lot of different segments of the food industries. The majority of the products that we process on a daily basis pertain more to chicken as well as turkey, but we are all species facility, so we, we are able to cook any different type of species except for fish. I would say we're probably processing a couple hundred thousand kilos a week. Our food safety is quite crucial to the business itself, and because of that, of course, we're CFIA approved, we're HACCP approved, we are a BRC with an A rating. In order to get to the next level, in order to make sure that we're servicing our customers to, to the best quality product on a daily basis, we've gone out and we've sourced plant automation in order to, to get us to that level. And what we use the machine there that we've purchased for is to make sure that we don't have any bone content in our product. One of the representatives that we have, I met approximately 18 years ago, is Matt uh, that works for them. Uh, so we're certainly happy with dealing with professionals such as himself. Uh, my name is Matt Bedard and I'm the VP at Plant Automation. I'm taking care of the Food Safety and Product Inspection Division, primarily X-ray inspection. Direct Poultry purchased an Eagle PI 400 RMI X-ray system for raw meat inspection. The number one reason it was purchased here at Direct Poultry was to detect bone in chicken products. The machine that we have in place today basically serves the need that we believe that no other machine can at the present time. In speaking with Chris Hopps, uh, VP at Direct Poultry, he explained that they were seeing an, an increase in, in bone complaints. So by implementing the Eagle PI uh, 400 RMI, that did provide them the ability to dramatically reduce bone complaints. I'm Chris Hobbs, I'm VP of Direct Poultry and Premium Foods. So this is our Eagle X-ray detection system and it is our second line of defense for bone issues. It's very difficult to find those bones and we've been able to, to work with this machine, test it and we've been quite fortunate. Behind me is our QA line and what they're doing is they are doing the initial detection of bones, trying to ensure that it is uh, completely bone free before it is lifted and put on top of the conveyor. The conveyor then goes into the x-ray machine and the x-ray is a second line of defense in order to make sure that the QA staff haven't missed anything with respect to bones. In terms of traditional foreign bodies, uh, such as metals, ferrous, not ferrous, and stainless steel, an x-ray system can detect easily down to 1.0 millimeters or below. What will happen after, if the x-ray, if the Eagle x-ray has determined that there is some density, whether it's bone or not, the product is reworked to make sure that there, if there is a bone that it's eliminated, which put back on the conveyor to be run through a second time. And then after this, then we have a third person who will be looking at the product after it's been x-rayed, just as a third line of defense. And chicken bone or poultry bone detection is the hardest, one of the hardest application uh, for x-ray detection. So here's the Eagle 400 RMI in use. And so this is each individual piece of chicken or turkey that is being x-rayed. And every once in a while, you will see a little box the box is the increased density that we need to take a second look at. Here's a box right here. That is something that the Eagle has highlighted. The level of diagnostics is excellent and it will produce a report at the end of the day detailing all of the day's activities. Well, plant automation has been our right hand when it comes to the x-ray and the metal detectors and has, I believe, helped us tremendously in achieving our success that we've had as of today. Their support and their information that they've forwarded to us has helped us get to this level. In order to properly support a customer like Derek Poultry, we've grown our company to over 40 employees now today. 15 of those are directly involved with service and part support. And we've also grown our inventory of parts to over $350,000 in value. The machine was brought in to serve a purpose, which was to reduce the number of bone complaints that we were receiving. And it has certainly achieved that goal. We're quite happy to work with them.